guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I wanted to give you a quick cage tour of how Figs Cage is looking and the theme that I've kind of gone for is a green and natural theme. So I'm going to start by showing you the bottom level of the cage and it's easy to do this without the metal section on so I can actually get the camera in and show you everything. So we're going to start with the left hand corner. So at the back here I've just buried this cardboard box and it's quite deep in the bedding and then the entrance to it is over here and it goes all the way along here so hopefully this would be a good place for him to hide. And then on top of this we just have this critter bath that I actually got given with the rat cage I bought. But this is great for Fig because it is mouse sized and I've just stuffed this with some shredded tissue for him to sleep in. And yeah, he really likes this. So in front of that we have this wooden log and as you can see he's really chewed at this. But I always put this in his cage because he does really enjoy picking off the bits of wood and completely shredding this, so this is always something I put in his cage anyways. So moving on we have this wooden castle and on top of this is just a little millet spray. And this castle is really cool actually, I got this from Aliexpress and this bit just lifts up and yeah, he likes to go in here and take all of his food in here and just eat it in this little bit here. So in front of that we just have this climbing frame and again I think I got this from Aliexpress but I have seen available in some American pet stores so if you want something like this keep an eye out for it and this is pretty multicoloured but it does have green and blue on it so it does kind of go with this theme and then underneath this is something that I've made. I followed a really old Erin's Animals tutorial, the one you guys sent me and made like a tunnel system for him and I've actually buried this right in the bedding. Um, as you can see, but I'll insert a clip of what it looks like here. But yeah, I just thought this would be something really great for him to try because he does love burying himself in the bedding and I've made these bits here as kind of the entrance for him and then it goes all the way down and under and then out this way. So we're going to see if he actually uses this. I'm hoping he'll fit. He is quite big, but he should be able to squeeze around the different sections of it. And then back here we just have his flying saucer wheel, which obviously is always in his cage anyway. So this is what it looks like with the lid attached. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, this cage is the Pet in Plazo Plus cage and I wouldn't really recommend it. Not because of the size, the size is good for one male mouse or a couple of females. But this cage is actually um, sold as a rat cage, which obviously you wouldn't be putting rats in here because it is too small. But the bar spacing, especially on this bit here, it is kind of crazy and he did squeeze out of it which is why we've had to zip tie it which isn't ideal, it kind of makes it look a bit ugly but that's fine um, and apart from that it doesn't actually um, attach to sides at all really like these bits you'll push down and they'll just come straight back off so definitely wouldn't recommend this cage but it's what we have for now so it's not too bad so starting with the outside of his cage we just have his really tiny water bottle and I usually position this thing the other way around so that he can step on it to get to his water bottle because the base is a kind of awkward angle. He obviously can't get to his water very easily so I position it so that he always has something to step up onto to get a drink. So again starting with the left hand side of the cage we just have this wooden ladder that I think I got from Zoo Plus. Um, I featured it in a recent haul video and it did have another ladder that went between this one and the bottom one but as you can see he's bit in the string that attached the two and it's kind of um, in pieces now which is fine, he really enjoyed doing that. But yeah, he likes to sit on here and just watch me and I think it's a nice addition to the cage because it does give him some extra levels to climb on. And then next to this above the cardboard box and the house and the other castle is another wooden bridge which again is something I'll always put in his cage just to give him something else to climb on and this wooden bridge goes all the way from here over to this side and he does like to sit on here and stare at me. Moving on to the right side of the cage, at the top we have this mini space pod that I picked up for him. Because I have one for my rats that's obviously a lot bigger, I thought it would be really cute to get him a smaller one to go in his cage. And a new addition to his cage is this corner treat holder. But I am just going to be putting his main food in there because it is small enough for him that it can hold all of his main food. And then it just has these these carrot tubes that slot into little holes which I thought were really cute. So we're going to see what he thinks of that. So yeah, that is everything that I've got in his cage today. I was going for like a more of a wooden green kind of look um, because it is coming up to spring. So I thought this would be 
using things I already had, B fitting to that theme and hopefully Fig enjoys exploring it. I'm going to put him in now and see what he thinks. That's it for today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more animal related videos from me and we'll see you on our next video. Bye!